Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you're all having a wonderful day so far. Today I am very excited to share all my favorite fall recipes with you guys. These are the types of meals I have been eating lately and these are my absolute favorite and simple meals to eat during this time of the year. I hope you will enjoy these meals. My favorite one out of all of these meals is my low calorie creamy potato and mushroom soup. You will love that soup. I am so excited to share that with you guys. This is a perfect weight loss soup to consume on your weight loss journey. Just in case you're wondering why I am all dressed up, I promise you I didn't dress up just for my YouTube video. I am going to an event today, so I figured since I'm already dressed up and I have the nice makeup on and my hair done, why not and go ahead record my intro to my next YouTube video. So here I am. Usually I don't look like this. I hate putting on makeup on a day-to-day -day basis because I work from home, so I'm always in my gym clothes. It's very rare that you will see me like this. So that's why I figured I feel good. So why not? Let's record the video. So without any further ado, let's get into today's video. If you don't know about teff, teff is an Ethiopian grain. It's very rich in minerals, vitamins, nutrients, iron and protein. You can use teff the same way as you would use millet or quinoa. I love to use teff for my breakfast porridge and I like to make it as a chocolate uh, uh, porridge but you can use whatever spices you like. You can either use cinnamon or you can use vanilla. It's all up to you. It only takes about 15 to 20 minutes to cook teff, but make sure that you are constantly stirring during the cooking process. Otherwise, it tends to stick at the bottom of the pan towards the end. Have you guys ever tried teff? I'm really curious to know because I know not too many people know about this grain and it's a really great option if you are gluten free and you are looking for any other alternatives other than oats. So I would highly recommend and looking into teff if you haven't already. This is one of my meal preps that I like to do ahead of time every Sunday. I either use any grain like quinoa or brown rice, then I air fry my tofu and then I bake some squash and I saute some kale or baby spinach and I also prepare my hummus ahead of time. Then I also caramelize some onion and I keep them in the fridge and when I'm ready I just quickly put together this bowl and I'm uh, good to go. This is also a perfect nourish bowl to make ahead of time for your lunch boxes or for school. If you are on your weight loss journey, this is a perfect soup to consume because there's no added fat in this soup and it's still so rich and creamy. These are all the ingredients you're going to need. I will add all the details in the description box below. I really enjoy eating lots of soups and stews during fall season. It's just so comforting and this type of soup is just perfect. It's uh, low in calories but it keeps you full for hours. You'd be surprised that this soup tastes so creamy and so yummy without having to add any cashew creams or even coconut milk. I find all those extra things really add calories to your meal so if you are trying to 
watch your waist or trying to lose weight then you want to stay away from using coconut milks and cashew creams in your recipe and mushrooms are such a low calorie vegetable that's why i really like to eat them dr joel Furman is all about using mushrooms every day so that is why i try to eat mushrooms as much as i can Now I am just uh, keeping some mushrooms aside to um, put it on top of my soup just for pictures and then I added uh, my chopped potatoes and then I added the blended sauce we made. You can totally control how much water you want to add to your soup. It's up to your uh, desired consistency. I like to add about two to three cups and I added hot water. Then I'm going to chop up some fresh chives and add it to my soup once it has simmered down for about five to seven minutes. And that's it. This soup is ready. It's so creamy, so yummy. Your whole family is going to love it and you're going to feel full for hours. I like to add a side of toast to go with that a whole grain toast but that is completely optional you can skip that or just enjoy this soup by itself do give this soup a try I am sure your entire family is going to love this soup my kids absolutely enjoyed this soup as well and they were begging for more if you don't like mushrooms and you still want to enjoy a potato soup, I have that recipe on my website already. I will link that in the description box below. That soup is also low calorie and it's super creamy and delicious. That's it for today. I hope you guys enjoyed all the meals that I've shared here with you today. Please let me know what are your personal favorite meals to eat during fall season. And if there is any recipe that you would like me to create, I would love to create those recipes for you. I am all about experimenting and making exciting meals. So if something that you really feel like you want to have but you don't know how to make that recipe please drop them in the comments and i will sure to make those types of meals for you on my next youtube video i hope you guys enjoyed watching today's video if you did then make sure to give this video a thumbs up it really helps me grow my channel and also if you are new here please subscribe to my channel I hope you all have a lovely fall season and you're staying warm and cozy. I will see you very soon on my next video. Bye.